as you talk to all these companies, what are the what are the one or two or three things that you're seeing that the decision makers are moving forward on on this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So movement, mindfulness, and emotional intelligence. Basically, it's just how to keep a person well and present. How to allow yourself to come into a space of connecting with your own body. Um, and that's really what movement helps with. And that's what we've been helping a lot of employees with as well, to keep, just to keep that consistency of a movement practice, to be able to get up out of your chair and move your body around. Because that's also something that contributes to, you know, to this fatigue and to, be, to being in a place where you eventually would lead to burnout. Because if you're not moving, if you're not taking time to look away from the screen, to shift your focus to other things, then it becomes very dense and the energy or like the energy that you, you're sitting in kind of becomes quite heavy. So um, basically, basically learning how to incorporate movement into your everyday, but be learning how to incorporate movement into your working environment as well, getting up and moving every hour at least. Mm -hmm. Also having a movement practice um, and we'd have different types of practices. So it also really depends on the company. Some companies love the yoga and Pilates. Some companies are all about the hit and they want, you know, the harder, more physical things. That's all dependent on, again, the company's culture. When it comes to mindfulness, it's more about like the, the companies that are really just about keeping their employees very focused and aware and also helping to just foster that little element of creativity and resilience, as I said. So helping people to connect to themselves in a way that they're understanding where they, where they are in space, um, connecting back to their breath, coming back to their bodies. It's just, it's, it's a very interesting thing to see those clients kind of shift, especially the ones that really are quite anxious or in fight or flight or very go, 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 and very much about like the hustle. It's really, it's really beautiful to see how the mindfulness practices and the meditation practices really helps to bring those people into a deepened, deepened sense of awareness of, you know, their bodies, their minds, and not just, not just reacting to situations, but rather responding. I'll just mention two things that you touched on. I've been working from home for a long time. And so for me, I had to work really hard on figuring out a schedule. And so my schedule has basically become, you know, I wake up at seven or usually 6.30, 6.37, no alarm. It's just like, I just, I just try to keep it as natural as possible. No phone. I brush my teeth, no phone. I put the phone in my pocket. I make my coffee. I enjoy my coffee. I do the New York Times uh, crossword, which is, a, it's a mini one. So it takes like three minutes max, really small. It's like nine things. And then I lean into work. I work for two hours and then at, at usually around nine, I'll just go for a walk. I'll just go for a walk and it's like either music or it's an audio book that I'll listen to depending on the day. I'll go for maybe like a 20 minute walk. I come back and I do the same thing at 11, another walk. But the, the challenge for me has been on busy days, it's almost impossible, right? To have the to discipline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I think, you know, I'm glad you're, you're mentioning the movement piece because I, I find it so refreshing. I find it so, especially under lockdown, you know, a lot of people are saying there's a lot of studies around, oh, well, if you're not going outside, then you're, you're not developing antibodies, you're not touching other bacteria. And so being in your house is kind of crippling to your immunity. If yeah. you're not taking any other supplements or anything like that. And yeah. so it's like a, you have, there's so much more on the plate now, which is really interesting, right? It's like you go home and you think, oh, I'm good. And there's so much more <laughs> now that, <laughs> that you yeah. have to do. Hey everyone. Thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.